One common question when considering running your solutions in Azure is how much is it going to cost? My name is Eric Boyd. I'm an Azure MVP, a Microsoft Regional Director, and the founder of ResponsiveX, where we help customers run workloads and develop applications in Azure. Over the next several minutes, I'm going to show you how you can estimate the cost of your solutions. To estimate the cost of your solutions, you need to understand the architecture of your solution and the services that you need. If you don't already have that, I'd encourage you to check out the previous session in this series, where I walk through architecting solutions in Azure. I'll show you how you can get familiar with and learn about the pricing models and costs for each service in your solution. I'll show you how you can easily estimate your costs using the Azure pricing calculator. And I'll show you ways you can save and reduce your Azure costs. In the video of this series titled Architecting Your Solutions in Azure, I picked two hypothetical solutions, an ERP system running on virtual machines and an e-commerce web app running as a collection of microservices on Azure Platform as a Service services for using as a reference. Let's start by finding the pricing details for the virtual machines needed by our ERP system. I will browse to azure.com, click on the products dropdown in the menu at the top and select virtual machines. On the Virtual Machines Detail page, I'll click the Pricing button. These virtual machines will all be running Windows Server, so I'm going to click on Windows. Now we can browse the virtual machine sizes or SKUs, and we can see the specs and pricing details for each. I will choose the characteristics of the ERP application server virtual machines, including the category, VM series, and region. The D series is a general purpose size with a balanced CPU to memory ratio. The DDV5 series is based on third generation Intel Xeon 8370C processors. They also include temporary storage or ephemeral disks attached to the VM. For our application servers, we want 16 CPUs and 64 gigs of RAM. The D16 DV5 SKU looks like the perfect size for these servers. I'll click the add to estimate button on the right side, and this will add it to our pricing calculator. For our database servers, we want more memory. So we'll change the category to memory optimized and select the EDSV5 series. For these VMs, we want at least 16 CPUs and at least 128 gigs of RAM. And it looks like the E16 DSV5 is the perfect fit. I'll click the add to estimate button on the right side again and add it to our pricing calculator. I'll click view on calculator, which will take me to the Azure pricing calculator. Once you know the Azure services you need for your solution and the sizes or SKUs you need, the Azure Pricing Calculator is a great tool for rapidly estimating your cost. You can also browse directly to the Azure Pricing Calculator from the pricing menu at the top of azure.com. Here in the Pricing Calculator, you'll see a banner at the top that lets you know that if you sign in, you can save and share your cost estimates with others. And I will sign in in just a moment, but first I'm going to scroll down just a bit. The first section you see has the Products tab selected. This lets you find Azure services by searching or browsing the categories. You can then add the service to your estimate. You'll find your estimate by scrolling down below the Products tab. And in our estimate, you will see the virtual machines we added to our estimate. This is where you can configure the service details for your solution, and this will provide an estimate of the cost for each of those services. I'm going to add a second VM because our solution architecture includes two load balanced VMs to add redundancy and improve availability. I'll leave it set at 730 hours a month because that's the average number of hours for a full month. I'll name this service so that I don't have to try to remember the purpose of this specific VM configuration. I'll scroll down to the next virtual machine and name it. This is the virtual machine that will be used for SQL Server. If you already have SQL Server licenses, you can use those in Azure. If not, you can pay for SQL Server licensing in the same way you pay for the virtual machine, based on hourly usage. I'll also increment the number of VMs to two. When using virtual machines, you'll also want to consider your disk requirements, both capacity and performance. To configure the disks, expand the Manage Disks section and select the tier, size, and quantity. Once you have your services configured, you can scroll down towards the bottom and see the estimate total. I'm going to scroll back up to the top of the estimate and create a new estimate for our e-commerce web app. But before I do that, I'm going to name this ERP system estimate. Now I'm going to scroll back up to the products section and add the services that I need for this solution. I'm going to click into the compute category and add an Azure app service for my APIs and web front end. 
I'm also going to add Azure Functions for my backend processing. I'm going to use Cosmos DB for storing some of the data in our e-commerce app. So I'll search for Cosmos and add that too. I know I'm going to store binary data using blob storage in Azure storage accounts. So I'll search for blob and click on storage accounts. Lastly, I'm going to need service bus for messaging. So I'll search for service bus and add it too. For the sake of time today, I'm not going to configure each of these services in this estimate, but I am going to name the estimate. And I wanna save these estimates. So I'm going to scroll towards the bottom again and click on the save button. It will ask me to log in. After logging in, I will select each estimate and click the save button. It will ask me to confirm the name for each of my estimates. When I wanna retrieve one of my saved estimates, I just click on the saved estimates tab. I can also get a copy of this estimate in Excel by clicking on the export button. What I've been showing you in the pricing calculator is the pay as you go pricing. But there are several ways you could save on the pay as you go pricing. First, there's the free offer. If you signed up for an Azure subscription using the free trial, then you get $200 or 30 days to use on the Azure services for free. And even better, if you convert your subscription to pay as you go, you can take advantage of many services for free for the first 12 months. And some even have tiers that are always free. You can learn more about the free offer at azure.com slash free. The free trial and free offer are really great for getting started with Azure, learning, earning Azure certifications, and your own dev test sandbox for creating solutions in Azure. If you're a Visual Studio subscriber, there's also dev test pricing that provides discounts on services for non-production workloads. Workloads that are interruptible with flexible execution times can take advantage of spot pricing. Spot pricing gives you access to unused compute capacity at up to a 90% discount. Workloads that have consistent usage and that you anticipate having deployed for more than a year can take advantage of Azure reservations. With reservations, you can save money by committing to resources for one or three years. And this will reduce your costs up to 72% from pay-as-you-go pricing. And lastly, if you have existing on-premises Windows Server or SQL Server licenses, you can use those in Azure with the Azure Hybrid benefit. This can save you up to 85% over the pay-as-you-go pricing. As an example, because we have existing licenses for our ERP system, we can take advantage of the Azure Hybrid benefit. And since it's going to have consistent usage and be deployed for many years to come, we can also take advantage of Azure reservations. Estimating the cost of your solutions running in Azure is an important step towards getting your solutions deployed into Azure. Before you can estimate the cost, you need to know the solution architecture and the services and sizes you will need for your solutions. If you don't have that already, and you need some guidance on how to do that, I'd recommend checking out the video in this series titled Architecting Your Solutions in Azure. Once you know the services, you can learn about pricing and billing models of each service on azure.com. Using the Azure Pricing Calculator, you can estimate the cost of your solutions, save your estimates, and share them with others. And I recommend taking advantage of the many ways that you can save, including the free offer, Azure Reservations, Azure Hybrid Benefit, spot pricing, and dev test pricing. In the next video of this series, I will walk through how you can go beyond estimating the cost of your solution to managing the cost of your solution running in Azure. Before I wrap up, I'd like to invite you to join me at our weekly Azure Live Q&A session. During the 30 minute session, I will host an interactive and live Q&A to answer your Azure questions. 